from that. Oh, wait, we ain't going to talk about them yet. Move right along for that. We owe a congratulations to DeBrat and Judy. Uh, DeBrat gave birth to their son. Uh, they named him True Legend DuPont. Okay, here's the thing. These are two damn women. But anyway, you get the point. Congratulations uh, on the baby. You know, it's not often that you see a stud get pregnant. Is is the brat the stud in the relationship? She's a pretty stud. Nonetheless, it's so weird. And it's so weird to see that the brat is just very, like, childlike in her relationship with Judy. Like, I know they love each other dearly. Um and I know that at the end of the night, their mouths are very sore. But at the end of the day, it's just so, like, it's cute to see the brat, you know, try to be tough, but with a belly, but with makeup, and still talking to little baby boys, and it can be beautiful. It's adorable. Anyway, congratulations on the baby. Um, uh, uh, Y'all got y'all mixed baby. Uh, And I'm not mad at you for getting no mixed baby. You know, everybody was mad at you because you didn't. You know, uh, go get no nigga sperm. Oh, uh, what's up, Cynthia G? Thanks for the donation. You said, please talk about Brad Dragon Kim K. Oh, yeah, she on the list, too. You know, everybody was so mad about y'all not getting no nigga sperm. And here's the thing, all right? Let people make whatever baby they want to make, all right? At the end of the day, why y'all acting like even if they had got a big black book to come in there and mount the brat like Ellen Iverson used to do back in the day because she's she is bisexual. She's not a... Uh, she's not a touch me not kind of a stud, and she's not a golden star lesbian. The brat like dick. She just only likes selected dick. I say the brat is more like seventy percent lesbian, thirty percent heterosexual. But anyway, this ain't about that. And the dick she used to take and suck. What it's about is letting people do what they want to do. And we also gonna keep it real. Y'all can't forget Judy got a damn hair company and everybody know that the best way to market hair care products to niggas is to use a mixed person. Anyway, it's marketing, but it's how they, they trick y'all into thinking that their products is going to make your hair look like that, but y'all ain't heard that from me. But anyway, even if they had got a, a black man to come in there, the baby still wasn't going to look like the both of them because they two fucking women. Y'all said the same thing with Wanda Sykes. And her white wife uh, had them mixed kids. Oh, no, them white kids. They got full Wonder Bread kids. Full Wonder Bread, full rye, pumpernickel type of kids. Pumpkin pie eating children. And y'all got on Wanda Sykes as if two fucking women was going to make children that look like them. When y'all have that kind of technology, then you let me know because I want to see that shit. Anyway, moving right along from that, we got to talk about Maurice. Uh, Maurice, the, uh, oh, oh. I need to take a sip because both these niggas made my head hurt this week. Let me take a sip. I got my ginger tea. Um, I'm back intermittent fasting. And I, 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 I can't have filters when I'm like not really able to eat. I'm so sorry. But I'm going to look really good and be really mean for probably ever. So just be ready, okay? I apologize in advance for my potty mouth, but I'm hungry. <sighs> to fathead ass Maurice and Kimmy Scott. You niggas pissed me off this week, but Kimmy, I'm going to start with you first. First off, Kimmy is and was and still is one of my favorites on, on Love and Marriage Huntsville, all right? In pretty much every scene that Kimmy is in, she has proven to me that she has proper communication skills, and uh, she's the most logical one on the show. And every time I look at her and her interactions with Maurice and, you know, Maurice's son, Monster, I'm not talking about people, kids, but I also feel like you might want to get a little boy a different nickname. I'm just saying you call him the monster and you're having problems. I'm just I'm just saying I don't, you know, niggas any nicknames, but whatever. Anyway, my point is every time I see her interact with Maurice, I just see a woman that was just desperate to get married and just settle for him. I don't know why Kimmy settled for Maurice. I don't know why she married him. They have never been on the same page. He has never really truly wanted to be uh, 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 an active participant in this marriage. And he just wants to throw everything off on Kimmy. Now, here's the thing. It's bad enough, Maurice, 
that you offered to buy your ex-wife a house in Huntsville and then tell Kimmy, now I'm taking y'all back. It's bad enough, Maurice, that you lied about what you did before you even came on the show. You said you was a lawyer. You said you had a credit repair company. And it's turning out that you was actually a barber in the very beginning. And you got a law degree from an unaccredited law school. No shade. But all I'm saying is it was definitely giving scammerish Atlanta. I'm just saying. I didn't know y'all got down like that in Huntsville. But I'm just, I'm just saying. They made every kind of. Oh, he was this, he was that, baby. He was he was a barber, and there's nothing wrong with that. And she met him because Maurice used to cut her son Jalen's hair. Okay, which is even worse, huh? Because for you to be a kid and not your barber fucking your mama, it's just like, oh my god. Anyway, I think that Kimmy reached a certain age and she just settled for him because she lives in the fucking South, and in the South. You ain't made it unless you married. Anyway. So it's bad enough that Maurice don't like to clean around the house. And it's bad enough that he don't make his son clean up around the house. And it's bad enough that he puts the parenting responsibilities of Monster on Kimmy. And it's just bad enough that he can't even properly communicate with his ex-wife and keep her in her fucking place like a real fucking man. He makes Kimmy do it. it it's bad enough he can't even check his own brother. Is him and Marceau, are they full brothers or half brothers? They definitely give him half brothers. But he can't even check his motherfucking black ass brother that looked like a black ass version of Squidward over there with a uh, 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 slow talking ass Tisha who getting emotionally bullied by Miss Wanda and her husband at the same fucking time and I don't know why more so over there steady trying Tisha because Tisha definitely gives me oxygen stab you in your fucking sleep vibes anyway so now Kimmy's going through you know she, she had cancer and she's going through chemo and instead of Maurice finally being supportive and just truly upholding his vows, you know, in sickness and in health, um, he decides that he can't go without sex. And he has to get on top of Kim, uh, Kimmy after going through chemo. I, I, see, I want to paint the story, uh, paint, paint the picture. Just imagine. You get up in the morning and you go into chemo. First off, when you diagnose with cancer, it, you don't know if you really going to live or die. You don't know how long you got. Let's just keep it real. Okay. So you get up and you're trying to get something to eat, but you can't because you're always nauseous. So you decide to skip breakfast that morning and go straight into chemo. And then you go through chemo all day where the killing the cancer says, but they also killing everything else around it. And so you get even more ill and you try to take some to help the nausea and the headaches and the body aches and everything. And all you want to do is sleep, but you can't. Because now you gotta, well, still gotta go to work. And then after work, you still have to come home. And when you come home, you can't come home to a clean house. You, you don't even come home to a meal on the stove for you or not even no fucking Uber Eats. You come home to a grown ass man, boy, husband, and his son that's not even yours that's looking at you to, you know, cook and clean and wash everything. <laughs> and after doing all that, you can't even get a good night's rest at night because your yellow ass husband wants to climb on top of you and pound away as you wince in pain because all the lubrication is gone from your vagina because you got to admit you're not thinking about fucking when you're trying to fight for your life. And your husband, who you took vows with, can't wait, can't give you time, and can't even use the two hands that God gave him to bust a nut since he has to have sex multiple times as if he is some fucking kind of stud. You ain't even that motherfucking cute to be talking about you need sex three, four times a day. Three, four times a day for what? Do you not have a job? The nigga is a glorified sex addict. Let's call it what it is. And let's call it, you know, let's call this what it is too. Kimmy knew if she wasn't giving up that cooch in pain, wincing through it. Oh, oh, he knew your ass was in pain. He knew your shit was dry. He knew you went into it. He didn't give a fuck. But you knew if you didn't give him that box and give him that dry ass mouth after you've been heaving and, and dry heaving all day, that that nigga was going to step out and cheat on you. Can we call it? Can we call a thing a thing? And this is what they telling y'all, y'all missing out on if you don't get married. Remember, they said you're going to die alone. 
But quite frankly, I think if if Kimmy was going through this chemo shit by herself, she probably would be would have been better off. She would have got a housekeeping service and would have been able to come home and actually like just lay down and rest and not have to worry about some yellow nigga getting on top of her and pounding away. Because he has a sex addiction that he can't curb. You know, you got all that energy, Maurice. It'd be nice if you could clean up the fucking house. Or use some of that energy to be. Uh, it's storm show. Hey, it's storm show.